Okay, we're at the Dutchman, Dutch Hunters Rendezvous, and man, I found myself a movie star man who was one of my favorite characters on, what was it called? Legend Legends of the Superstition, of the Superstition Mountain. And, and man, I thought this guy, old Frank, was a crotchety old god badger man, and he's really pretty nice. And with that said, <laughs> take it away, Frank, give me a story. Well, you know, what's interesting about that show is it's still showing. It's, they're still running it around the world. We've had probably at least 50 million people watch that. And right now it's playing in Germany. And they have Wayne and I and the other guys speaking in German. So I can speak German. I can speak <laughs> Chinese. Fluently. Fluently. People are surprised sometimes. I just break out and start talking. <laughs> but you know, what good is it all if you can't get your own wife to kiss you know angie look the tv show's on i saw that <laughs> <laughs> now we have quite a few uh, female viewers they're, you know, they're a little bit older uh, and the reason that they're fans is that they look over and they see their husband laying on the couch doing nothing. And then they look on TV and they see us out in the mountains doing something. And they're like, can you get up off and go do something like they do? You know, instead of just laying there. But the show was three years ago. And we have, in a way, moved on from it. And... Wayne and I and our excellent cameraman, Trevor, you see I got your name right this time, <laughs> films us. And if you watch the uh, Legend of Superstition Mountains YouTube videos, you'll see some very interesting things. Now, what we're doing now is going out and we'll pick up on a legend and then we'll do some research find out everything we can about it and go out and see what we can find and we're finding things just like yesterday you came with us right yep, and thank you for letting me come along and there was guys. what uh 10 12 people that went out we went out to uh ward's cabin site and a couple weeks ago wayne and i and uh, trevor went out and we're searching the area and i happened upon an old mine, older than when Bob Ward was there. And Salvador used to live out there. He spent all the time out there. He was totally unaware of that, of that mine. And then as we branched out from that, that mine, different people that were in our group were starting to find other mines. So you can see when you, when you go out to an area and you really start looking around, you'll find things. And, it's, and then when we go back, we'll say, okay, what was it that we found? What, what did this mean? How old was this mine? How, how soon were there people in here doing stuff? Why were there so many mines? What were they finding? And as we hit different areas, <clears throat> based on what we've learned through research and things that friends have told us, we're finding things, and there are things there. It's not like uh, someone is a Dutch hunter, and they're going to just go into superstitions, and they have a certain area they suspect where the lost Dutch mine may be, and, and they never find anything. They are finding some things. You know, signs of people that were in the area in the past. So that's what I like doing. I, I was, I'm a retired police sergeant, and, and part of my training was uh, going over crime scenes. So what I like to do when I go out, I apply that training to what we're doing at the present moment, and we find things. So it, it's, it's fun. I mean, you have to have something to do. And even, I've been, I've been doing this for years. You know, when... when you're hanging around the house too much and you're getting on your wife's nerves. It's like, 
you know what? I'm going to go treasure hunting. <laughs> and off you go. Just like this weekend. You know, I went away for Friday, Saturday, coming home Sunday. It gives my wife a break. And it gives me a break. So it's a lot of fun. And I would suggest that no matter what area you live in, there's something there. There's some legend that you can follow up. I know, Terry, you do this mm -hmm. back home. Yep. And it gives you something to look forward to. Am I right? Yep. <clears throat> so another thing I want to mention, and we have Greg Davis sitting over here, and he collects Dutchman stuff or superstition stuff for the museum. He has a gigantic library. So if any of you at home had a relative that was into this stuff and passed on and left stuff behind and you don't know what to do with it, call Greg Davis. Right, Greg? Uh, just, uh, we're on Google, Superstition Mountain Museum, Superstition Mountain Historical Society. He's in the phone book. Because you never know where you're going to find this stuff. And that's all I have to say today. With that said, Frank, thanks. <laughs> and that's a wrap.